joining us. Um, it's a pleasure to meet with you again. It's been a while since we delivered our uh, webinars on uh, career readiness and um, how to find a job that matches your skills and capabilities, basically. Uh, so welcome. Uh, my name is Lamise. I work as a learning advisor for Pearson Education. And I'd like to ask you, I'd like to ask for your help, actually, to uh, make this workshop um, as much interactive as uh, possible to learn and get the ultimate benefit out of it. Today, we're going to talk about how to land the job of your dreams. Actually, um, we're going to talk about tools and techniques to find jobs that matches your skills and capabilities. Please feel free uh, to type your questions uh, at any time. I uh, will do my best to answer it on the go or uh, we even can uh, meet you after that, uh, if necessary. What are we going to talk about today? We're going to talk about how to make decisions, how to find the job that you're looking for, what are the soft skills you need, and how do you manage your career path? I guess there is, before I start, there is actually a difference between uh, for first time career seeker and for those who are at the workplace. So maybe if we have the, uh, some of you are working already and maybe looking to change their career path and that's, that's absolutely fine. Some of you are looking uh, for their first uh, job. Uh, so there is, there is uh, as I said, difference between um, looking for a job for the first time and for those who are at the workplace. So. Uh, pay attention and please, as I said, ask me questions if you want. So you're looking to start your career or you're looking to actually uh, change your career path. Um, so you're excited to click that button, to click that start button. So if you start to ask around, uh, maybe you're trying to find um, uh, socially acceptable ways uh, to find jobs, right? You start asking around uh, people and they might tell you that um, find jobs that you're passionate about. Look after your passion, right? So recently, basically, in the last 10 to 15 years, we see a bit actually of uh, a pushback around the idea of passion. And there are a couple of reasons for that. Many people don't know what they are actually passionate about, what their passion are. Another reason for that is the fear. Some people have fear of uh, fourth industry uh, revolution. Uh, what, what, what difference does it make if I'm, I'm passionate about something and artificial intelligence cannot come to replace all jobs related to that? Maybe 20, 15, or even five years down the road, we don't know what kind of jobs going to be, right? So we're here today to help you navigate your career, to help you navigate career decision based on data, to help you identify your career path. I just want to very quickly share some statistics with you. These statistics are from Galo. 87% of employees worldwide are not engaged at work. And 53% of university students believe that their major will lead them to a good job. So it's actually not a big percentage of students feel that they're going to find the job that matches their skills and capabilities. So what do we do? Basically, why we, we, we've mentioned passionate at the beginning? Because Many people, as I said, they don't know what they're passionate about. Actually, many people, they don't take enough time to figure out uh, their career decision before deciding on where or what they want it to be, right? Uh, we decide to become, uh, to work at different industries, at different companies, but basically, I don't take enough time to understand myself, to analyze it to assess my skills, to identify my strengths and weaknesses, right? Because becoming self-aware is the first step in order to manage your career path successfully. 
The idea here, it is not about uh, where do you want to work. It's about how do you want to work. Because here today, I'm going to share with you tools and techniques that to answer your how. Where is up to you. But to distinguish yourself from the crowd, to make yourself visible, uh, to become, uh, um, uh, uh, to land the job of your dream, you need to uh, make yourself ready, make yourself aware in order to reach that point, right? So basically, before we do anything, I'd like to ask you to access this link. Let me copy paste the link here in the chat box. Maybe it would be easier for you. Just give me a sec. And instead of uh, uh, typing the whole link, let me copy paste it. Here you go. So kindly, I'd like to ask you to access this link. Take five minutes to answer the questions. This is a sample grid assessment that might help you understand uh, where do you stand in terms of career readiness? Where do you stand in terms of the component of success? So here we're talking about grit assessment, which is scientifically proven. The more grittier you are, the more successful you would be. But before I explain this further, I kindly ask you to access the link. Can you access the link? Can you click on the link I put in the chat? <clears throat> Excuse me. Fantastic. Please uh, take five minutes to answer the questions. Kindly, once you're done, just type in the chat box that you're done to go through the result. All right. Are you almost done? Just a few number of questions, around 10 questions. Don't overthink it. So don't try to analyze the question. Just to choose the answer uh, that you feel it's related. Okay. Fantastic. So the grade you got, it's on a scale uh, um, from, I believe, zero to 10. So you might get two, you might get three. And there is a small explanation under that to show you how gritty are you. What do we mean by grit here? It stands for growth, resilience, instinct, and tenacity. Growth, um, how do you look for information? Um, how many doors do you knock in order to find what you're looking at? Um, how do you actually find information? How do you uh, um, uh, validate your resources? Um, uh, resilience, it's not only how do you bounce back from a failure, but how do you switch uh, a failing event to a successful event? Instinct, uh, do you go after your... Um, uh, your goal? Uh, do you do whatever it takes to achieve your most valuable goal? Tenacity, do you keep doing it until you reach there, until you hit uh, 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 um, uh, the, the, what do you call it, the end point of your journey? That what grit stands for. That's how we start. 
we start guys and this is only a very uh, uh, a short sample of a grit assessment by the way grit designed by dr angela duckworth if you did not uh, she has a TED talk on youtube if you did not watch it i i advise you to do so because you will learn more than what you think about yourself as i said at the beginning it's very important to become self-aware and that's the reason why do we, we did not want to start with the word passion we're not here to tell you uh work uh, uh, at something you're passionate about because simply you don't know maybe what your passion is, what you're passionate about, especially for those who did not work before, especially for those who are a first time career seeker. I don't know what I'm passionate about. What I need is to figure out how to figure out. You don't have to wait until you start working to find out what you're passionate about. It starts with understanding yourself. It starts with understanding your uh, 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 strengths and weaknesses. So I will, I I'll, I'll, I'll advise you here if you have a pen and paper take 30 seconds to write top uh, three uh, uh, um, area of strength that you know you're good at you know that you're a good communicator maybe you're good in communication you're good in uh, solving issues you're good in manage time you're good in talking to people you're good in saving money you're good at, uh, I don't know, um, solving conflict. So just type the top uh, three uh, 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 top things that come to your mind you believe you that you're good at, just for 30 seconds. Even if you, you, if you don't have a pen and paper, just open your uh, phone, type it wherever uh, possible. <laughs> Send it a message to yourself. That's how we start, guys. Basically, we start with identifying our strengths and weaknesses. We start by knowing what we have and what we don't have. So no shame of knowing, uh, of not knowing what you don't have. That's absolutely fine. I don't know what I have, but it's, it's, it's not right to keep not knowing it. So it's really important for you to understand yourself. It's really important to assess your strengths and, and weaknesses. It's really important to make your career decision based on data. Um, as I said at the beginning, uh, basically people don't take enough time to know themselves, right? So we, we make most of our career decision based on unconscious bias. We make it, uh, we are under the influence by parents, peers, colleagues, friends, or even um, um, local community. Uh, so that sometimes could be the reason behind our unconscious bias decision. So what we want to do, we want to make more mature decisions. We want to make our decision based on self-awareness, based on understanding, based on data. So I know what I have. I know what I'm lacking. But what I also know is there are certain tools out there available for free online uh, to help me understand how to develop the things that I don't, uh, I don't have. Um, so here I said at the beginning, to support you with the how. If you have the where, that is fantastic. So where do you want to work? Where do you want to apply? That is, that's absolutely fine. So we want to uh, show you how to make yourself ready and how to click the start button, how to reach there, basically, how to show them that you deserve it. In order to do so, guys, uh, Sadly, I have to mention that it is a degree or um, career uh, knowledge alone are not really enough. What you need, you need the skills beyond that. What we call it, we call it soft skills. So you need basically soft skills in order to distinguish yourself from the crowd, in order to make yourself visible to employer in order to get the la or to land the, the, the career of your dream. Not only to get it, 
to shape the career future, uh, to manage your career path successfully. There are certain uh, soft skills that every one of us need to have built in in, in order to be able to uh, manage any career successfully, regardless of what we want to do. What are these soft skills? How do we identify it? So let me share with you a quick story from Pearson. So 15 years ago in Pearson, we, we've noticed that there is some of the uh, um, statistics also I shared with you uh, based on our research at Pearson. So we've noticed that there is a gap between fresh graduates and the workplace. We've noticed that especially people at their, uh, uh, those who just joined the workplace, they, they cannot actually succeed in what they're doing. There, there are, they're facing many challenges and some of them, they're not able to overcome it. And we know if you're able to successfully overcome challenges, you become more self-confident. You become more strong. Uh, you know exactly what you want to do because you have the help. So uh, based on that, we've done an extensive review for a uh, framework existing framework of 21st century, we've conducted more thousands actually of interview with employers to understand what does it make uh, 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 to distinguish us from the crowd? What does it make to land uh, the career of our dream? What does it make to, uh, what does it take actually to get what we want? And we found out that is actually, uh, before what we found out, we developed a framework. A framework consists of six skills bucket. If you have it, you will succeed in whatever you're doing, regardless what, where did you decide to pursue your career. It's very important, guys. As I said, the knowledge, the hard skills, we know we have it. Simply by joining college, simply by taking short courses, we know I have the knowledge. I know I have the hard skills. My baby, I don't know that I'm lacking the soft skills. And what distinguishes you is your soft skills. Because there are many of people applying for the same job that you're applying to. But what makes that employer um, calling you for an interview? What makes you standing out? Is your soft skills. What are the soft skills that we're talking about? We have six different skills. Critical and creative thinking, communication, collaboration and teamwork, self-management, social responsibility, and leadership. Those are the soft skills that we have to have in order to distinguish ourselves, in order to um, pursue and grow our career. So if you are working already and you're looking for your next step, before you go and apply for those positions that open at your company or any other position, for example, assess, reflect, share your thoughts. So start by assessing yourself. Start by assessing, do I have enough critical thinking? Where do I stand in terms of critical thinking? Do I have the right leadership skills? Am I the right, the right leader? Do I have uh, uh, enough uh, communication skills? Do I know how to communicate with people? Do I know how to convey my message? Do I know how to break down knowledge and information and share it with different audience? So it's very important for you to assess the soft skills and then reflect. Reflect on your experience. Reflect and share your thoughts with colleagues that you trust, uh, maybe with your manager, maybe with somebody at the company uh, or at your organization. You think that might help, that might coach you a bit to understand more of how do you uh, uh, get the job uh, that you want? What does it take uh, to go there? So I advise you guys, honestly, uh, to look for coaches at your company, uh, to look for somebody you trust. And believe me, people like to help. Uh, so maybe you, I don't know if you know that or not, or you believe in it or not, but when you reach out to people, asking them to support you or asking them to coach you around something, definitely they will do. Because that's our human nature.
And if they are the right people, definitely will guide, will show you the way, will help you uh, look at things differently. Maybe will help you even change your perspective and then land the job uh, uh, or land the career of your dream. So it's really, really important to focus and look at the soft skills. What is the process for that? The, for everything, there is a process. So what is the process to get the career that you're looking for? Simply three different steps. As I said at the beginning, discover. Take enough time. You know the rules of 80-20, 80% planning, 20% execution? That is exactly what you need to do. Take enough time to understand who you really are, not only your strengths and weaknesses. Understand how gritty are you understand are you an introvert extrovert or um or both introvert and extrovert there is actually a word for that personality sorry i don't have it at the top of my mind right now but try to find out who you really are are you somebody who uh, uh, uh take energy while being with people socializing with people talking to people or are you somebody who feels really drained after being with so many people somebody who like to work with number somebody who like to work behind the screen or are you somebody who like to talk to people uh, gather information and take this information analyze it a bit and talk to internal people to come up with a solution and go maybe through um, what do you call it design thinking process. So you might be somebody somebody in 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 the middle of introvert and extrovert scale. So try to find out who you really are. Understand your personality. It's very important because once you do, believe me, you would uh, you would see different work preferences. You would open your eyes at different career path. You would be easily able to block in different jobs that matches your career. So it's not a matter here of getting a job. It's very important, I know. It's very important to secure our monthly, uh, uh, um, what do you call it, uh, expenses. But what is more important is to be engaged to be happy at what you're doing. And in order to reach that point, it starts with you first. Understand who you are. Understand uh, your personality, which is something very, very important. In order to know how to utilize the knowledge that you have, action it, and do your job. So the process, it starts with discover and then develop. Develop what? Develop the things that I don't know, I don't have. If I want to work as a project manager, I don't have project management um, uh, enough knowledge, techniques, tools. What I do? Simply, I go read about it. I take some short courses. Uh, I ask people in that industry. I ask maybe colleagues uh, who works, uh, who, who's who's actually doing that particular thing. I want to work. I want to do, or I want to wake up. Uh, update of course your linkedin profile and invite people who are doing the same thing go through their profile look at the things they 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 they, they do look at the courses they took uh look what else did they do um ask them for i don't know for uh, a 30 minutes call maybe uh, ask them share with them messages uh, even via linkedin believe me some people would reply back and help you uh, to uh, find uh, or to help you to show you the path in order to find or in order to get the job that you want, for example, uh, project management. And show that you have the right skills. So it starts with knowing and then developing and then showing. It's very, very important, guys, to show what you have. I can't simply assume. I can't assume that you have it based on what? I need to go through a, an, a, an attractive resume. As an um, as, uh, um, uh, employer, I will take up to eight seconds to go through your resume on average. Imagine how this resume should look like, how attractive it should be. I don't mean attractive like 
share everything you've done? Of course not. Attractive. Share with me the things that make you that 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 gonna distinguish you, the things that gonna uh, show me that you deserve more of my time as an as an employer to go through your resume and to call you for an interview. Be smart. Write the right terminology. So don't say that as I don't know. I work as I'm, I'm gonna say um, teacher for like uh, eight years. Okay. Oh, I'm not looking only for a teacher. I'm looking for a specific teacher. So so share with me the skills. So say it. In 2000, I don't know, from 2018 until 2021, I worked as a math teacher uh, where I implemented um, uh, a practice-based learning with uh, uh, students, uh, where I implemented the critical thinking using a flip uh, 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 class uh, flip learning techniques so show me the things that i am as an employer looking for and how do you find it go through the job description go through the company profile try to align what you used to do or, or what you're doing with the requirements and of course be authentic be honest because believe me through the interview uh, i can i can read your soft skills and i can see whether this thing's written on paper aligned with the person uh, sitting in the front of me i know we are uh uh like the time is almost finished one more thing i want to share with you is please own your own story don't let others write your story for you that's why i said don't try to avoid unconscious bias decision Yes, and if we, it's very important to ask people around us, where do you see me? Uh, w w what do you think I'm good at? Feedback is very important. It's actually a very valuable thing. You'll be, you will be uh, very lucky to receive it. We're receiving feedback on a daily basis, whether we ask for it or we don't. So feed feedback, guys, is like a gift. Very few of us know how to unwrap it. Listen, try to gather information, but what is really most importantly is understand who you really are. Whether you are at the workplace already, you work, or you, you, you are somebody who is looking for a job, for a first time job. It starts, it doesn't, it doesn't matter whether you have zero years of experience or years of experience. It's, it's really important to understand who you really are personality traits, uh, what you like to do, uh, what is your personality type, uh, and then decide on on where you want to do, where you want to go, where do you want to apply, and believe me, that decision gonna be, uh, is going to be um, a flexible decision because it's based on data. It is not something that you must do. It is something that you know that you're good at. And once you tell your mind that is, I know I'm good at doing one, two, three, it means you start writing your own story. You're owning your own story. And nothing better than owning your career journey because then you would have a very flexible plan where it allows you to adjust, to adapt, um, to implement and execute whenever you want. I'd like to thank you so much for your time. I wish you found this uh, useful. Um, I hope you found you 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 you've, you've, you found actually the how, and um, I'm happy to answer any questions. I will start. Uh, I will stop recording now, and will answer all of your questions.